O oh, the most merciful of merciful, where now is the gift you bestowed upon me? The great do not take back the gifts they have given. Please return my Joseph. Please return to me my Joseph. God keep you safe wherever you are. I am certain you are alive. Ask our children once again what they have done with Joseph. Perhaps they will confess to their mistake and tell the truth. Why are you so certain Joseph is not dead? Two reasons. First, the shirt had not been torn by the wolves. And second, my heart has never lied to me. Very well. Although I am not hopeful, I'll ask them again. I want them to confess to their sin and repent. And then God may forgive them. I have already told you, we didn't see it. We're sure the wolves killed Joseph. How often must we say it? Even if you say it a thousand times, you'll still have lied. If you were still children, I'd flog you. If the wolves had killed Joseph, why is his shirt intact? We don't know either. It is also a mystery to us. I curse all of you. You are all liars. The wolves did not do it. It was a different kind of wolf. You are the wolves. I know. Again, they say the wolves killed Joseph. I hope they come to their senses before it's too late.
Malik. Don't sell him. My heart tells me not to sell him. But you saw it for yourself. He wants to be sold. How much is that boy there? I don't know how to sell slaves. I just know he's beautiful, clever, and literate. He has other skills, too, that raise his price. I won't sell him cheaply. He could be a good servant for the temple. And as a priest, maybe attract people to the temple in the future. Try to buy him. Shall I start with 50 Devon? How about 50 Devon? Your Excellency, his price is much higher. 100 Devon. Much more even than that. He eats little, but works much. can work like two horses. How much? 200 Devon. <laughs> now this one here, it says, shame it as a sheep. I'll only give you 100 Devon. Excellency, they are worth more. They are worth much more. Very strong. He can pull the plow alone. 
Big him as well. Very good choice. All these slaves. 600 Yemen. 50. 55. And that is a good deal. 55 Yemen. You have chosen the very best. Give him 300. But they are worth more than that. 320 Devin. 350. These are the best slaves. Join the auction. What are we going to do now? Don't let him win. Potiphar must be defeated today. Twelve hundred Devon. Thirteen hundred Devon. Thirteen hundred Devon. Is there a higher offer? With that amount of money, you could buy ten slaves. But never mind. We will try not to lose to Potiphar. I bid 1,500 Gabon. A bid of 1,500 Devon. Is there a higher offer? This is shameful. As if they're buying and selling goods. If they knew this child, they would know even a mountain of gold would not be enough. Two thousand? Three thousand. Three thousand? Three thousand! Three thousand, Devon! His Excellency Potiphar! The governor of Egypt offers 3,000 Devon. Excellency Potiphar has offered 3,000 Devon. Who dares to compete with Excellency Potiphar? Congratulations! The slave is yours. I assure you that you have bought a polite, knowledgeable, and literate slave. In addition to that, he is auspicious. He has been sold to His Excellency Potiphar.
summon Zolega. Where did you find this unique beauty, Your Excellency? I bought him. At a very dear cost. Whatever you paid, it wasn't enough. The fool who sold such a gem should be sent to the world of the dead. People sell slaves to acquire gold and gems. Instead, this stupid slave driver sold a gem. For what? You are very kind, but I am just a slave. Welcome to the home of Potiphar, boy. Thank you, Your Excellency. You have only just arrived. Were you missing me already? May I ask the reason why I was summoned? I have bought you a gift. seen this child before. I feel that I have. Where, I don't know. Was it perhaps in a dream? He looks so familiar. I must congratulate Excellency Potiphar on his good taste. He is unique. What is your name? Joseph. Joseph is either an Aramaic or a Hebrew name. I am a Hebrew. I would say from Canaan in Syria. They are all shepherds in that area. Joseph. Joseph. Hmm. No, I can't abide names that belong to primitive nomadic tribes. I think we will have to change it. If you will allow it, we will choose an Egyptian name for him. This child is my present to you. Name him whatever you like. Thank you, my lord. That is very kind. If you'll allow it, I would like to suggest an Egyptian name for Joseph. Go on. One similar to his existing name. Yuzasif. Yuzasif. I like it. Yuzasif. I think it's beautiful. As of now, your name is Yusasif. Do you like it? If you like it, then I shall agree. I want you to treat Yusasif very well. He may profit us greatly. And perhaps Zuleika will come to like him and adopt him in the future. Why not? Who could be better than Yusasif? Did you see how beautiful he is? In my life, I have never seen one so beautiful. He's really a slave? He doesn't look like a slave. This will be your room. Do you like it?
Thank you, my lady. It is beautiful. <sighs> Prepare everything for Yusasif to rest. for saving me from slavery and for granting me comfort and peace. O oh, Joseph, thus Almighty God has granted you a lofty position. He has taken you from the depths of the well to the peak of glory and given you the knowledge to interpret your dreams. You are now more knowledgeable than the interpreters are. This knowledge is inside you. Therefore, you no longer have any use for a teacher. I am grateful. I am grateful to my benevolent God. It is a loss, Malik. And you would still have been a loser had you taken twice as much gold as Joseph's weight. It is indeed a very great loss. Do you know what you are saying? Do you remember we were lost in the storm? The animals stopping by the salty well? Why do you think that was? For you to gain a profit or to save Joseph? I think the salty water of the well became fresh because of Joseph. Do you remember when I slapped Joseph and my hand became paralyzed? And I was cured by his prayer and the touch of his hand. Excellency Malik, if you remember, Joseph saved my life also. I was healed by his prayer. You made a profit from Joseph, but it was only gold. And Joseph was no ordinary boy. And miracles. Only prophets of God can perform miracles. How did I fail to notice it? Who was Joseph? Why didn't he tell us about his family? Ah! Damn you, Feli! You've spoiled our joy! All this time I thought I'd made a prophet. But now I realize I've lost a great deal more. Oh, Fali. It seems that I sold. Not a slave, but a prophet of God. How did we fail to notice his polite speech? And the magnitude in his behavior? The spite-free heart. How did we not notice his mirror-bright soul? As of this day, this night, I renounce all and worship his God. I'll make up for this, I promise. I will do something. Where are you going? Nothing can be done right now. Wait until morning.
Where is Excellency Potiphar's palace? Go straight ahead. Down that road. want to meet with His Excellency. You must ask Commissioner Rodeman. Come up. Commander, these men wish to speak with Excellency Potiphar. Why do you want to meet with the governor of Egypt? Excellency Potiphar. We sold him a slave. Please tell him the former owner of the slave he bought yesterday is here. I asked why you wanted to see him. He accidentally overpaid us. And we will return the coins only to him. Wait right here. What's the matter, Rodamon? The merchant who sold you a slave yesterday wishes to meet with you. You do not seem happy, Hebrew. I am happy to be here, but I am not happy to be a slave. Are we treating you as if you are a slave? Your treatment of me reflects your greatness. My feeling is because of my slavery. Bravo! A calculated appropriate answer. I'm hopeful for him, Your Excellency. He knows how to read and write also. Then everything is good about him. Except perhaps his tongue, that needs a little trimming. My lady can be certain I have no tongue to blabber, and I shall not speak without the permission of His Excellency Potiphar, nor yourself, my lady. Very good. That is better. Where are you from? What are your parents' names? What difference does it make, my lady? Wandering in the desert, and shepherding sheep are not worth talking about. Did anyone ask you? Yuzasif's face alone bears witness to his nobility and dignity. What is it, merchant? Have you changed your mind? No, no, I... Uh, b before I tell Your Excellency why I'm here, may I ask permission to speak with Joseph privately? You see, I never... had a chance to bid him farewell. I understand. Yuzasif has the effect of causing attachment. Show them out to the adjacent hall. You see, he cannot bear separation from Yuzasif.
I have come to ask you your name, Joseph. I will not leave until you tell me. I told you. I am the... No! Son. I have heard that before. By the grace of the unique God, tell me who you are and put my mind at ease. I will tell you if you swear to God that you will not share with anybody what I tell you. I swear to him. I swear to Abraham's God. I'm Joseph, son of Jacob, son of Isaac, son of Abraham. My God. Woe on me. I am your cousin. You are the descendant of Isaac. And I am the descendant of Ishma, the God sacrifice. May God never forgive me. What have I done? Why did I sell you? But I knew we were cousins. And I am not upset that you sold me. I had to be brought to Egypt and sold. These events are God's will and will lead to a great event. All those miracles. I should have guessed that you weren't ordinary. You are a prophet. Woe on me for selling a prophet as a slave. What can I do with this shame? Calm yourself. Rise. As I said, this had to happen. I had to come to Egypt to fulfill my prophethood. You have done the right thing. And for that, I thank you. I will make up for this mistake. Take this. It is your slavery document, signed by your owners. Hide it well. You must stay here. I do not want you to witness our quarrel. I apologize to His Excellency, Governor of Egypt. I have to request a nullification of the deal. I cannot sell Joseph. <laughs> well done! Well done! I had considered you a fool who did not appreciate such a gem. Now I see I was incorrect. You have realized the value of this gem. However, it is a little late. You should have thought about that before you sold him. The deal is done. Your Excellency, I am willing to exchange all my wealth for the return of Joseph. Please return him to me, Excellency. Did you not hear? Excellency Potiphar said, We will not return you, Zarsif, to you at any price you may offer. And I said that I regretted the deal. Joseph is not for sale, and we will not leave here without him. If you continue with this insolence, I will imprison you both. Now get out! I am not leaving without Joseph. Excellency, please, let us take him. Rodaman? Take them to prison. God, by my witness that I bought Joseph, but I did not sell him. Return him to me! Return him to me! Get them out of my sight! Return him to me! Give back Joseph! Return him to me! Joseph! Take them! Joseph! Take care of yourself! Return him to me! Joseph! Your Excellency, please forgive them. They endangered their lives for my sake. They deserve to be punished severely. I beg of you. 
But I shall forgive them for use us, Steve. Go and have them released. There is no need to imprison them. Yusasif, what do you have that the slave driver would sacrifice his life for? I do not know. I have no possessions. What could a weak creature like Joseph have? So, Yusasif is not indebted to us any longer. As what we paid for him has been returned. What are we to do? Excellency, I am not ungrateful. I shall not trade your kindness with Dinar or Devon. I am indeed grateful for this priceless gift. Carry Mama, take you Salsif to the bath. Dress him in new clothes and bring him to me. Yes, my lady. Have you noticed that contrary to others, Yuzasif never bows? Do not worry. That is something he will learn. I believe it is deliberate, not ignorance. I want Joseph! Return him to me! I want the slave Return I sold! Return him to me! We want Joseph! We won't sell him! Where is the slave we sold? Return Joseph to us! I want Joseph! You were fortunate. If not for Yuzasif's request, you would be in prison. Leave now and do not return. I'm not leaving without Joseph. You will see. I am telling you to go. Stop endangering your life. Far and his wife are not so stupid as I am to lose such a gem as Joseph. We have sustained a great loss. You have, not me. By God's kindness, I have profited. You have? How so? You lost Joseph without getting anything in return. But in return for losing Joseph, I have found Joseph's God. Last night, I renounced the stone gods and received from Joseph the gem of monotheism. Right. By God, I have lost greatly. Although I didn't sell the prophet of God, I will never forgive myself as long as I live. Go to my homeland and promote monotheism from now on. As long as Joseph is in this city, I cannot leave. Let's go to the caravan. <laughs>